Social Security, when and how much? You may not be thinking about Social Security for yourself yet, but if you or someone you know has reached age 50 or beyond, then there are some things you might want to consider before making your choices. When can you receive your full Social Security benefits? It used to be that everyone was eligible at 65. Now, anyone born between 1938 and 1959 has to use the Social Security Retirement Age Chart to find their exact retirement age. Why? Because in the early 90s, they decided to increase the age to 67, but didn't want to hold out on those close to retirement. Instead, they gradually increased the retirement age by tacking on an extra two months for each year of birth. Based on your birth years, my husband Dave can retire at age 66, but I need to wait until I'm 66 in 10 months. It finally evens out for those born after 1960. They're currently holding at age 67. Of course, to qualify for Social Security, you have to meet the required credits. If you work and pay taxes, you will earn Social Security credits, typically four credits per year worked. You need to work at least 10 years, 40 credits, to receive your own retirement. Other types of benefits are available depending on your circumstances. What happens if you start early and take partial benefits? During the holidays, a group of us were talking about Social Security and what age we planned to start taking benefits. The group consensus was starting with partial benefits at age 62. Yes, for some that makes sense, but not for everyone. Consider this. If you take your benefits before your full retirement age, you'll receive reduced benefits for life by as much as 25% less. In addition, if you're still working and collecting Social Security, you'll have income limitations each year. On the other hand, if you delay your benefits past your full retirement age, your benefits will increase both for delaying and by annual cost of living. The bottom line, what your family and friends do may not be what is right for you. Our family conversation brought up some interesting questions. We decided to speak with one of our investment advisors to understand what was best for us in our situation. He had a novel option that worked really well for our situation. You see, the best choice for us wasn't to take the benefits at 62 or to wait. When Dave turns 62, we'll be using that advice for our personal situation. Do the research and make a plan of what's right for you and your family. Until next time, this is Jill Russo Foster. 